New legislation now requires every sexual assault kit to be tested. KPVI News that works for you journalist Zane Hopin tells us how this helps victims as well as law enforcement. On July 1st, legislation that would require all sexual assault kits to be tested went into effect. The kits are developed through exams by a medical professional to gather DNA on a sexual assault victim's body to assist in investigation. And up until now, not every single one would get tested. It is victim-centered and um, the, with the best intent for the victim as well as public safety. With only a few exceptions, including kits for anonymous victims, the new law makes sure each one is tested and dealt with. Not only does this help victims, but it also takes a burden off of law enforcement agencies' shoulders. We were concerned that law enforcement was being put into, a into making a decision. It was very uncomfortable for them determining really if the crime happened or not. For Pocatello Police, they don't get as many of these cases as maybe other cities do. But it will still have an impact that Lieutenant Bill Collins says will streamline the process. If anything, it maybe makes the travel a little bit easier, just knowing that we're going to pretty much send everything that comes through instead of waiting for another outcome. This will also add to the pool of suspect data. Law enforcement agencies use CODIS, or a combined DNA index system, to help identify suspects. Having more kits gathers more DNA, which could help create matches in future cases. If we have repeat suspects, at some point we'll catch them. I mean, it may not be here, it may be anywhere across the country, but it's a tool. I mean, it's a good tool to have. According to the Twin Falls Police Chief, the main purpose of the legislation is to show victims they care and to make sure justice is served.